Alright, so today on Repairs 101 I thought I'd take you through the process of making reliable and weatherproof crimp connections for 6, 12, 24, and 32 volt electrical systems. Okay, well I think pretty much everyone's had a kit like this one where you get a multi-pack full of all kinds of different uh, terminal connections and butt connectors and bullet connectors and even some fuses thrown in for good measure. And you know, come with a crimping tool slash wire stripper that looks like this one here. It's going to be a reasonably good connection and uh, serve you fairly well. Um, but I don't use these anymore and I don't use this crimp tool anymore. I find this style of insulated terminals to be inferior to uninsulated. So I much prefer to use uninsulated terminals like these ones here and a pair of terminal pliers like this one, a piece of shrink tubing over the end. If I can't find uninsulated terminals, I'll take the insulated type, just grab the end of it with my terminal pliers and just pull it off like that and then it's uninsulated. Okay, so I'm going to take a piece of 10 gauge wire. You can see it's marked there. All right, I'm just going to grab a little piece of shrink tubing and cut it down to size. And before we uh, do anything, we're going to just slip a little piece of shrink tubing over the end. Remember to do it first because you'll find you can't do it last. Grab these wire strippers and take the end off real quick. There you go. I strongly recommend a pair of strippers like these to anybody who intends to do a lot of wiring. They'll save you an awful lot of time. You just squeeze the handle and the jaw closes to hold the insulated part of the wire. And then you squeeze some more and the cutter comes up and grabs the wire and then you pull it apart with leverage. Put it in the slot marked for 10 gauge wire and it's stripped just like that. So at this point, to um, dip it in some dialectic grease is always a good idea. So you just want to take the end of that, and there you go. Okay, now that's been dipped. Okay, so there we have it marked 12 and 10 gauge, and we know we're using a 10 gauge wire because it says right there. Uh, I've dipped this end in. Wouldn't hurt to dip this end in. Just put uh, a little shot of grease up in the middle of that. There it is. As you can see, there's a seam in the construction of the terminal where the saddle sits for the wire. You can see there's a seam. And it's very important to put the seam in the semicircle part so that you're pushing the male aspect of the plier into the back of it. So you want to load your terminal so that the seam, that seam right there, loads into the semicircle side of the terminal crimp plier. Okay, so you just load that in there like that. And you can see the male aspect is going to push up through the back side and do the crimping from the back side. And we're going to load the wire then, which we've already dipped. We're going to give it a little squeeze. And basically it's done. And this is a very reliable crimp connection. And that's what it should look like when you're finished. The impression from the male aspect of the crimp tool will be in the back like that, nice and neat. So all that's left to do is shrink on the tube. And we're just going to slip this uh, shrink tubing up over the connection. Now you can use a butane torch like this one or you can use a heat gun and uh, you can use a propane torch as well but the propane torch you're going to find is throwing too much heat. You want to start at one end and work your way to the other. It doesn't really matter which end you start at and work towards but you don't want to start in the middle and you don't want to trap any air inside of it at all. You just slide on your piece of uh, shrink tubing and then just go around real light and easy. You want to start at one end and work your way down to the other. And it will melt right on there. Sweet as you please. And there you have it. I've even overdone it a little bit. Oops. You can see I've overdone it a little bit. A little bit of charring, but just wipe that off. It's quite hot. Okay. There we have very reliable current connection.